good morning dear students i hope you all are fine so today we are going to read your ninth chapter of your book movements and the name of the chapter is the accidental tourist so in this chapter the writer share his uh, you can say experience of traveling through the plane and he will share all the humorous thing that happens to him in his daily life actually he is a very uh, you can say different types of personality he is a confused person totally and uh, many strange things happens to him in his daily life so he shares all his uh, you can say daily sufferings in a funny way in a very humorous way so this is a very funny chapter so let us start reading so the description given at the starting of the chapter is that they say that the world today is a small place because travel has become easy that uh, people often say that nowadays it is very easy to travel because uh, we have so many developed means of uh, transportation but not everybody find it is easy to travel but it is not easy for everyone why because here in this chapter author will tell you about his problems what he faced during traveling or what kind of things happened with him so let us read in the chapter so the chapter starts as of all the things i am very i am not very good at living in the real world is perhaps the most outstanding so now what he is saying of all the things i am not good at living in the real world is perhaps the most outstanding ke okay, one of the things that i am not good at is living simply the living i am constantly filled with wonder at the number of uh, things that other people do without any evident difficulty that are pretty much beyond me so he is saying that i find every every thing or every kind of work for me is just a challenge what other people do simply they do simply but i face not many problems or not many uh, you can say miss happenings happen with me so i cannot tell you the number of times that i have gone looking for the laboratory in the cinema for instance and ending up standing at an lie on the wrong side of the self locking door door so what he is saying that uh, he is saying that i cannot tell you the number of times wo bol raha hai ki main aapko bata nahi sakta kitni baar aisa hua hai that i have gone looking for the laboratory laboratory means to say uh, laboratory is a room or building containing toilets so uh, he was looking for a toilet in a cinema hall and what happened to him ally means to say narrow pass uh, passage way between or behind the building so he uh, he ended up going into the exit door of the cinema hall and as you might have noticed ke jo bhi cinema hall ka exit ha- room wala door hota hai exit door hota hai actually to wo us pe aap exit kar sakte ho wapas se usme se aap entry nahi kar sakte ho one side it, uh, locked ho jata hai wo so wo dhoond to dhoondta to wo apne liye washroom tha wo laboratory jana chahta tha lekin uh, by accidentally wo number of times he used to Uh, go through that exit door and after that he was unable to come back to the cinema hall so these kind of things happens him uh, happens very normally or very often to him my particular specialty now is returning to hotel desks two or three times a day and asking what my num- room number is i am in short easily confused so next he is telling about another his uh, special quality which is that that he forget very often he forget everything very often so what he is saying when he go to any hotel and when he book a room for him so he just keep on asking from the reception that what is my room number after two three times or after not many times means he forget the things very easily he is just a confused person totally so he doesn't even remember the room number of uh, the hotel in which he is living so he just keep on asking the room number from the reception again and again next is that i was thinking about this the last time we went to an family on a big trip so an family is in a french word which means once family with once family so he was talking about that he visited a place he want to go for a trip with his family it was at ester 
or Easter. It was at Easter, and we were flying to England for a week. So it was the equation of Easter. Easter is a uh, you can say a festival of uh, uh, the people who belongs to Christian religion, and it usually falls in the month of April. So they were going to England to celebrate the festival that is Easter. When we arrived at Logan Airport in Boston and were checking in, I suddenly remembered that I had recently joined British Airways frequent flyer program. I also remembered that I had put the card in the carry bag that was hanging around my neck, and here's where the trouble started. So now, what he remembered, he uh, when he uh, you can say when he arrived at the airport. So what he remembered, he remembered that I had recently joined British Airways frequent flyer program. उसने कोई ऐसा program join किया हुआ था flight वाला जिसमें अगर वो वो card वगैरह अपना carry करे साथ में तो उसको extra points मिलते थे उसको कोई discount वगैरह मिलना था लेकिन अब वो उसको पता नहीं है कि वो उसने बैग में रखा है कार्ड या नहीं रखा है फिर उसको याद आता है येस आई हैड पुट द कार्ड इन द कैरी बैग दैट वाज हैंगिंग अराउंड द नेक एंड हेयर द प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट अब कैसे प्रॉब्लम क्या स्टार्ट हुई द जिप ऑन द बैग वाज जैम जो जिप थी बैग की वो खुल नहीं रही थी सो आई फुल्ड इट ऑन इट एंड यंग एट इट विद ग्रांड्स एंड फ्रॉन्स एंड इंक्रीजिंग कॉन्सेंट्रेशन so what is the meaning of yank the yank means to say pulled with a jerk and consternation means to say with anxiety or with a distress so he was trying to open the zip with all his force because he want to take that card out of the bag which is uh, which was hanging on his neck i kept uh, this up for some minute but it wouldn't budge so he was uh, doing all his efforts uh, for several minutes but it wouldn't budge budge means to say move zip jo thi wo bilkul bhi move nahi ho rahi thi so i pulled harder and harder with more grunts so with more force he pulled harder and harder to open that zip well you can guess what happened or can you guess what happened then abruptly the zip gave away suddenly the gift uh, jo zip thi wo khul gayi open ho gayi the side of the bag flew open and everything within newspaper cuttings and other loose paper a 14 ounce tin of pipe tobacco and magazines passport english money film all was extravagantly ejected over an area about the size of tennis court so what happened as you can see from the picture when he was trying to open up his bag suddenly the zip opened and all these things which he has mentioned that your newspaper cuttings etc usme aur kuch papers bhi the and he was carrying tobacco also so tobacco also fell down on the ground and magazines passport money all those things ejected means to say removed out of that bag and And they were spread in a size or in a area of the size like tennis court. Tennis court, जितने area में वो उसका सारा सामान जो था वो बिखर गया. I watched dumb stung, dumb struck as a hundred carefully sorted documents came raining down in a fluttery cascade. So now what he is saying, dumb struck means to say shocked and fluttery means to say uh, zambling, flapping of wings of uh, by birds. जैसे birds के wings fly करते वक्त flap नहीं करते वैसे ही आवाज को हम fluttering बोलते हैं और cascade means to say step by step जैसे waterfall हो रहा हो rain में से. So what he is saying that i watched dumbstruck as a hundred carefully sorted document came raining down in a flattery casket ke uspe jo bhi usne acche se bag mein sab documents wagera rakhe hue the wo rain ki tarah bahar aane lag gaye and casket points bounced to a variety of noisy oblivions and the now lidness tin of the baku rolled crazily across the concourse disgorging its content as it went so Now what happened? Is all us, us, ke sabi documents be fell on the ground, and one of the thing that is the baku, jo usko lagta tha ki na gire, wo bhi wo ground pe gir gaya. And uh, then concourse means to say the open central area in a large public building. Here he is talking about airport because he is standing at airport. So he is jo sab cheeze thi uske ek open area airport mein sab kuch ye uska gir gaya. my tobacco i carried in uh, i cried in horror thinking what i would have to pay for that much tobacco in england now that another budget had come and gone and then changed the cry to my finger my finger as i discovered that i had gushed my finger on the zip and was shedding blood in the in a lavish manner so 
earlier he was thinking about uh, his tobacco he said that my tobacco so i cried in a horror or it means wo dar ke bola kyunki he it was uh, you can say it was kind of crime to carry tobacco along with the uh, any person in the airport etc so he was just uh, you can say he was just thinking ki iska kitna fine lagega ab england ke airport pe jahan pe bhi wo pakda jayega to usko kitna uske liye pay karna padega so suddenly he cried then my finger my finger as i discovered that i had gushed my finger on the zip and was shedding blood in a lavish manner ab usko next kis cheez pe uska dhyan gaya ki uh, when he saw his finger usme se blood nikal raha tha why because when he was trying to open the zip uski finger pe cut lag gaya i am not very good around flowing blood generally but when it's my own well i think the hysterics were fully justified confused and unable to help my hair went into panic mode so uh, he was saying that i was not uh, you can say pretty much conscious of uh, the flowing blood agar kisi ka khoon beh raha ho to mujhe koi problem nahi hoti lekin ye mera khud ka tha he was just saying trying to say this and so he is saying this that i was totally confused and unable to manage myself what to do and he was totally confused and panicked and you can say in a totally confused situation <clears throat> so the next is it was at the point at this point that my wife looked at me with an expression of wonder not anger and acceptation but just a simple wonder and said i can't believe you do you uh, do this for a living so uh, he uh, now his wife uh, was uh, you can say looking at him and giving the expression of uh, wonder means to say she was uh, surprised to see all these things because uh you can say not angel uh, he is saying that she is not angry but acceptation acceptation means to say irritation so his wife is also irritated from his behavior and uh, she is uh, you can say she is having a question that i can't believe you do do this for a living so she is saying what are you doing and uh, how you can do this so she was just also confused at him but i am afraid it to, it's so i always have catastrophe when i travel so uski wife ke liye ye cheez new thi dekhna lekin uske liye to ye normal baat thi why because i always have catastrophe when i travel so catastrophe means to say tragedy or miss happening or disaster so these kind of things are uh, normal with him uh, or simple with for him because it always happen with him when he travel once on an aeroplane i learned over leaned over to tie a shoelace just at the moment someone in the seat ahead of me threw his seat back into the full recline and found myself pinned helplessly in the cla- uh, crash position so what happened to now now he is telling about an older incident that had happened to him earlier when he was traveling in, in through a plane so what happened at that time he said that i leaned over to tie my shoelace usne apna shoelace tie karne ke liye wo niche jhuka and just at the moment someone in the seat, uh, in the seat ahead of me threw his seat back into the full recline so the person who is sitting in front of him usne apni seat ko back bilkul back le liya and what happened to him and found myself pinned helplessly in the crash position and uh, jo apna right hai wo uski seat mein piche se ghus gaya kyunki usne jo aage wala tha usne seat exactly piche le li it was only by clawing the leg of the man sitting next to me then i managed to get myself freed so then clawing clawing means to say grasping clawing means to say grasping so what uh, how he rescued himself at that time ki usne apne jo saath wala baitha tha uski leg ko pakad ke wo khada hua is tarah se usne us उस सीट में से निकला जो उसमें वो घुस गया था सो दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर नॉर्मल विद राइटर बिकॉज दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग ऑलवेज हैपन विद हिम सो मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट पेज नाउ on another equation now he is telling about an any other thing what happened to him i knocked a soft uh, soft drink on to the lap of a sweet little lady sitting beside me so one time what happened to him ki usne ek uske saath jo achhi ek aurat baithi thi uske upar usne soft drink apna gira diya the flight attendant came and cleaned her up and brought me a replacement drink and instantly i knocked it on to the women again 
so you can see how humorous is this person so what happened to this person again uh, again that flight attendant that is air hostess we may call them air, air hostess also so air hostess came uh, to him and uh, cleaned that women's clothes and also supplied another drink to the writer but again writer did the same mistake he again accidentally uh, you can say knocked that drink on that women again so the to this day i don't know how did it i did it i just remember reaching out for the new drink and watching helplessly as my arm like some cheap uh, prop in one of the those 1950s horror movies with the name like the un Undead uh, or undead uh, limb violently swept the drink from its perch and onto her lap. So what he is saying now? He was saying he was saying that his arms or his hands are like uh, any prop, any cheap prop which keep on moving. कि उसके हाथ अपने control में नहीं है कि कुछ भी हो जाता है उससे. So he was just comparing his hand with the, you can say any kind of prop that is uh, used in uh, any 1950s horror movie that is the un uh, dead limb. Un dead limb limb means to say आपके arms, legs जो भी body parts होते हैं उनको हम limb बोलते हैं. So कोई movie का name है और उसमें कोई ऐसा होगा जो राइटर के आर्म्स की तरह ही था जो बिल्कुल टिकता ही नहीं था सो द लेडी लुक एट मी विद विदूफाइड एक्सप्रेशन यू वुड एक्सपेक्ट टू रिसीव फ्रॉम सम वन होम यू हैव रिपीटेडली ड्रेंचड एंड अटर एन ओथ दैट स्टार्टेड विद ओ फिनिश्ड विद से एंड इन बिटवीन had some words that i have never had uttered in public before certainly not by an nun so now he is saying that he, that you can imagine the expression of that lady stupefied expression you would expect to receive from someone whom you have repeated it branch branch means to say geela kar dena wet kar dena so kisko uh, kisi ke upar aap bar bar drink girate jao aur aapko pata hai ye bro kaise expression dega waise expression wo lady de rahi thi so this was all happening with that person This, however, was not my worst experience on a plane. Uh, on a plane flight, my worst experience was when I was writing important thoughts in a notebook, sucking thoughtfully on the end of my pen as you do, and fell into conversation with an attractive young lady in the next seat. I amused her for uh, for perhaps twenty minutes with a scattering of urban bone mots, then retired to the lavatory when. where i discovered that the pen had leaked and that my mouth chin tongue teeth and gums were now a striking scab resistant navy blue and would remain so for several days so he was saying that that falling the drink or the soft drink on another lady sitting along with me was not the uh, worst incident that happened to me what was the worst incident or what was the worst experience now he is sharing that experience so what he is saying that i was writing important thoughts in a notebook so he was writing something in a notebook sucking thoughtfully on the end of my pen as you do ke jaise hum ne pen ko piche se suck karna start kar dete hain beech mein stop karke likhna so waise hi wo kuch kar raha tha and fell into conversation with an attractive young lady in the next seat aur aise karte karte wo saath mein jo uske ek achhi lady baithi hui thi uske saath baatein karne lage usko impress karne ki koshish kar raha tha i amused her for perhaps 20 minutes with a scattering of urban bone mots bone mots means to say witty remarks usko acche se that you are looking beautiful or anything like that so he was just trying urban means to say sophisticated he was trying to impress because he was trying to impress her so he was looking sophisticated and he was uske saath 20 minutes wo aise बातें करता रहा उसको इंप्रेस करने के लिए then he retired to the laboratory where i discovered that the pen had leaked and my mouth chin tongue teeth and gums were now a striking scrub resistant navy blue and would remain so for the several day lekin after some time jab wo washroom mein gaya aur usne wahan pe jaake mirror dekha what he saw so kya dikha that his gums his teeth all his face was colored with navy blue color from uh, where from uh, from where this navy blue color came from that pen the ink of the pen was leaked actually and because he was sucking the pen from the back side so ink was leaked and all his face was uh, turned into blue color now and uh, to the more surprising thing was that 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 would remain so for several days wo ink itni pakki thi ki wo kafi dino tak wo aise hi uske face pe lagi rahi so you will understand i trust when i tell you how much i ache to be so 
सो वो बोल रहा है कि आप समझ सकते हो कि मैं इतना फ्लाइट बनने का मुझे कितनी पेन सहनी पड़ती है इतना फ्लाइट बनने के रिटर्न में आई वुड लव जस्ट वंस इन माई लाइफ टू राइज फ्रॉम अ डिनर टेबल विदाउट लुकिंग एज एफ आई हैव जस्ट एक्सपीरियंसड एंड एक्सट्रीमली लोकलाइज सिस्मिक इवेंट गेट इन अ कार एंड क्लोज अ डोर विदाउट लिविंग फोर्टीन इंच ऑफ कोट आउटसाइड वी आर लाइट कलर ट्राउजर विदाउट डिस्कवरिंग एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दैट आई हैव एट वेरियस टाइम्स सेट ऑन चुंग चुंग गम आइस क्रीम काफ सिरप एंड मोटर ऑयल बट इट इज़ नॉट टू बी सो वॉट हैपन टू नेक्स्ट टाइम नाउ सो ही इज सिंग दैट वॉट हैपन टू मी वन टाइम वैन ही वॉज टेकिंग हिज डिनर और लिविंग द डिनर टेबल सो वॉट हैपन एट दैट टाइम कि उसके डिनर टेबल को उसने पूरा जैसे अर्थ uh, वेक आया होता है सिस्मिक वेव इट इज़ रिटर्न एज सिस्मिक वेव है Yes, seismic event is written, which means like earthquake. So, uh, if you uh, see that table, you will find that uh, it was totally mess. It was totally mess, and uh, all the things were scattered. Like that, something happened over uh, on that table, or some kind of earthquake happened on their table. Now on planes, when the food is delivered, my wife says, "Take the lids off from the food for daddy and put your hood uh, hoods up, children." Daddy is about to cut his meat. Of course, this is only when I am flying with my family. So now, what he is saying now on planes when the food is delivered, my wife says, "Take the lids off the food for daddy." So uh, put up your hoods, children, and means वो uh, अब वो बोल रहे हैं कि जब भी फूड आ रहा है प्लेन में जब उनको फूड डिलीवर हुआ तो वो उसकी वाइफ अपने बच्चों को बोल रही है कि आप बच्चों अपने डैडी को आप इस चीज़ का लिड खोल के दो क्योंकि उसको पता है कि ये तो क्या करने वाला है सो डैडी इज अबाउट टू कट हिज मीट ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज ओनली वेन आई एम फ्लाइंग विद फैमिली वो बोल रहा है कि इस बार ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है क्योंकि अपनी फैमिली के साथ मैं जा रहा हूँ अदरवाइज तो मैंने ही ये खुद मैनेज करना था वेन आई एम ऑन माई ओन आई डोंट ईट ड्रिंक और लीन ओवर टू टाई माई शू लेसेज एंड नेवर पुट अ पेन एनी वेयर नियर माई माउथ सो वॉट इज सेंग बिकॉज आई एम ट्रेवलिंग विद माई फैमिली दैट इज वाई आई एम ईटिंग अदरवाइज नाउ अब उसके इतने बैड एक्सपीरियंस हो चुके हैं ही सेंग दैट मै आई डोंट ईट डोंट ड्रिंक एनी थिंग ड्यूरिंग फ्लाइट Don't even lean to uh, tie his shoelaces and never put a pen anywhere near my mouth. So, ऐसा वो कभी ये वाली मिस्टेक अभी कभी वो रिपीट नहीं करता आई जस्ट सेट वेरी वेरी क्वाइटली समटाइम्स ऑन माई हैंड्स टू कीप दैम फ्रॉम फ्लाइंग आउट अनएक्सपेक्टेडली एंड कॉजिंग लिक्विड मिस्टी सो वॉट इज सेंग दैट दैट आई आई यूज टू कीप सेट क्वाइटली वेरी क्वाइटली आई डोंट टॉक विद एनी वन एंड आई डोंट मूव माई हैंड्स एंड वॉट इज सेंग दैट समटाइम्स दैट आई सेट ऑन माई हैंड्स कि वो अपने हाथ नीचे डबा के उनके ऊपर हाथ के ऊपर बैठ जाता है टू कीप दैम फ्रॉम फ्लाइंग आउट अनएक्सपेक्टेडली एंड कॉजिंग लिक्विड मिस्टिव के दोबारा से ये कोई अपनी हरकत ना कर दे मेरे हाथ क्योंकि उसके कंट्रोल में नहीं थे वो एंड कोई किसी पे कुछ गिरा ना दे जैसे वो सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक किसी पे गिरा दिया था कोई ऐसी शरारत ना कर दे उसके हाथ सो इट इज इट्स नॉट मच फन बट इट डज एट लीस्ट कट डाउन ऑन द लॉन्ड्री ऑन द लॉन्ड्री बिल सो ही सिंग दैट एट लीस्ट आई सेव द लॉन्ड्री बिल बाई डूइंग दिस कि और कुछ ज़्यादा नहीं तो एट लीस्ट आई सेव माई लॉन्ड्री बिल और द लॉन्ड्री बिल ऑफ द अदर बिकॉज ही इज नॉट गोइंग टू स्पॉल द क्लोथ विद एनी काइंड ऑफ सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक नाउ आई नेवर डिड गेट माई फ्रिक्वेंट फ्लाई माइल्स बाई द वे आई नेवर डू I couldn't find the card in time. This has been has become a real first frustration for me. So what he is saying then? I never uh, did get my frequent flyer mile. जो भी उसका कार्ड था जिससे उसने बेनिफिट लेना था ट्रैवलिंग का वो उसको कभी मिला ही नहीं टाइम पे जब भी उसको चाहिए वो मिला ही नहीं सो दिस हैज बिकम अ रियल फ्रस्ट्रेशन फॉर मी एवरी वन आई नो एवरी वन इज फॉर एवर फ्लाइंग ऑफ टू बाली फर्स्ट क्लास विद देयर एयर माइल्स आई नेवर गेट टू कलेक्ट एनी थिंग सो वॉट इज सिंग दैट एवरी टाइम आई डिट कलेक्ट एनी पॉइंट्स और एनी थिंग आई मस्ट फ्लाई वन लैक माइल्स अ ईयर जेट येट आई हैव अकोमलेटेड ओनली अबाउट टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व एयर माइल्स डिवाइडेड 
between 23 airlines so what he is saying that he has traveled around 1 uh, lakh miles in a year but what he accumulated on his card is only 212 miles because he doesn't get the card always, so he doesn't get entry on it so this is because either I forget to ask for the air miles when I check in or I remember to ask for them but the airline then managed not to record them or the, uh, or the check-in clerk informs me that I am not entitled in them. So uh, what he is saying that why this happens because either he forget to take that card along with him or either he forget uh, to show that card uh, where he want to show. So uh, sometimes that happens that the airline member or the manager says that your name is not enrolled or your name is not entitled in this card. So in January on the flight to Australia, a flight for which I was going to get about a zillion air uh, miles, the uh, clerk shook her head when I presented my card and told me I was not entitled to any. So what happened now, he is telling you about an incident that happened with the, him because of his card. So what happened, he was telling you that in January on a flight to Australia. Wo January mein kisi, uh, Australia ki flight mein ja raha tha, wo Australia travel kar raha tha. And a flight for which I was going to get about zillion air miles because it was a long distance. So he was uh, able to get a zillion miles means usko sare points milne the uske card pe. The clerk shook her head when I presented my card and told me I was not entitled to any. So shook my uh, clerk shook the head means to say उसका अपने सिर जो हलाया ना में हलाया कि आपका तो इस कार्ड पे नेम ही सही नहीं है सो व्हाई ही आस्क्ड व्हाई द टिकट इज इन द नेम ऑफ बी बरस Bryson and the card is in the name of W. Bryson. So now B. Bryson, B, the full form of B here is Bill and W means to say William. So now his ticket, which he has booked ticket book hai, wo usne pe apna naam bata diya, Bill Bryson and card pe uska naam hai w, w. Bryson, that is William Bryson. Because it uh, can happen that the author, jo hai, writer, hai, uska jo formal name who jo uh, documents pe name chalta tha wo william bryson tha but uska jo common name tha wo ho bill, uh, bill bryson tha to wo jab usne tic, uh, ticket book karai to us time usne apna name bill bryson bol diya ab ticket pe uska name bill bryson likha hua hai aur card pe william bryson likha hua so that is why that clerk was not accepting that card she is saying that this card doesn't belongs to you this is not yours because the, here the name is written that is william bryson so i explained to her uh, the clothes and Venerable relationship between the Bill and William, but she wouldn't have it. Venerable means to say respectful means he is saying that these are one and the same. Bill, Bill and William are the one person. This is the name of one person only. But she is uh, she was not understanding that because for her uh, the ticket must contain the same name as that is written on the card. But that was not true according to her. So so I didn't get my air air miles and I won't be flying to Bali first class yet just yet perhaps just as well really I could never go that long without eating so what he is saying that because of that trouble because of a wrong name written on the card again he was unable to get his points so I didn't get uh, my air miles and I won't be flying to Bali first class just yet अब वो बोल रहा है कि अब मैं बाली नहीं जाऊंगा बाली एक प्लेस का नेम है सो ही वाज सेइंग दैट के वहां पे मैं फर्स्ट क्लास में ट्रैवल नहीं करूंगा परहैप्स जस्ट एज़ वेल रियली जैसे कि हमेशा करता हूं आई कुड नेवर गो दैट लॉन्ग विदाउट ईटिंग बिकॉज़ वो बोल रहा है कि वो नेक्स्ट ट्रिप की प्लानिंग कर रहा है कि वहां पे इतना लंबा रास्ता और मैं बिना खाए कैसे जाऊंगा क्योंकि अगर वो खाएगा तो कोई ना कोई ट्रबल क्रिएट करेगा ही बिकॉज़ दिस ऑलवेज हैपेंस विद हिम सो ही इज थिंकिंग द यस आई आई विल नेवर गो टू बाली बिकॉज़ इट इज अ वेरी लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस एंड आई कांट लिव और आई कांट स्पेंड दैट मच डिस्टेंस विदाउट ईटिंग सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट योर चैप्टर दैट इज the accidental tourist so i hope you have enjoyed this is a very funny story so thanks for watching the video and have a nice day